Hey guys, Brando New Productions here. And boy, this video is just full of requests. Uh, well, actually, it's only full of three. But I've gotten two emails from uh, several different people telling me that I talk too loud in my videos. So, you know what, I'm going to adjust that now. As you can tell, I'm probably already talking quiet because I'm trying not to talk loud. But I'm actually going to move my microphone away from my face and talk normal and see how that is. Uh, make sure you leave your uh, thoughts about this, this uh, position of the mic in the comments below. So here it goes. I'm going to move it. All right. Hey guys, Brando New Productions here, and um, today I'm actually going to be fulfilling a request that somebody asked. Um, they uh, said, how do you make an HTML editor, editor sort of like um, Brandon's HTML IDE or HTML IDE X? Um, if you don't know about those two projects, the link will be in the description. But um, I'm going to teach you right now, and it is probably the easiest program that you have ever made in your life. It only takes like two seconds. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start a Windows Forms application and press OK. And then once we do that, we're going to uh, extend the form just to make it nice and big. And I'm going to go ahead and change the text and uh, text HTML ed editor. And then I'm going to also make it so it does not show the icon because, you know, I really don't like that icon. Although it does look kind of cool. Alright, so now we need to add a couple of controls. The first control that we're going to need to add is a uh, is a tab strip. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add a Krypton tab strip just because those look so nice. <laughs> and then... Uh, once you've added a tab strip with a uh, appropriate size and everything, you can go ahead and name your tabs. One tab is going to be called the editor, and the other tab is going to be called like the actual web page. So what we're going to actually do is make it so the user types an HTML code in this tab, and then it refreshes every time you type something and displays it as a web link in this tab. So um, you guessed right, we're going to need two controls. The first control we're going to need is a rich text box, which uh, I'm going to use Cryptons again. But um, why we want to use a rich text box is because rich text box are capable of uh, basic functions like cutting or pasting. Um, it, it's pretty much just like the more advanced features if you wanted to add something uh, more advanced later on. Um, now what we're going to actually do is make this look a little nice by changing the padding on the t tab alright I'm going kinda of fast <laughs> so we're going to click on the edit tab and actually change the padding to 5 and we're going to delete this rich text box and um, set the back color on this to uh, um, Hold on. Hold on. All right, so we go to uh, state common in the properties, then panel, and then color one. I'm just going to choose a. Uh... Oh wait, that is not what we wanted. That's not the right panel. I'm going to change this back to white and then this back to white as well. Okay, so we're going to go again to state common uh, page color. We're going to change the color to a dark gray. There we go, that's what we wanted. Sorry for that. Um, so now, since the padding is 5 and the uh, back of the panel is dark gray, it's actually going to look really nice when we pop in this rich text box. Look at that. Alright, and then for the web page, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, except we're not going to make a um, gray background because we want this web page to uh, take up the whole um, panel. So we're going to go ahead and add a web browser to our project and um, it should automatically resize itself to fit the tab. If you're not using a tab, you can go ahead and say undock in parent container and then it will uh, make itself a movable object. I'm going to leave mine docked. 
And then here is the one line of code that we need in order to make an HTML editor. We double click on the text box to get to the text changed property. So every time the text is changed, this will happen. We're going to make the web browser navigate to what the text box um, So we're going to navigate to what the text box has inside it. Except um, we can't navigate to that because that's a not a URL. So we are going to say webbrowser1.status text. I think that's it. Um, no, that is not it. Hold on, it's one of these. Let's find it real fast. Uh... I was almost positive it was status text. However, I'm, oh, it's document text. That's what it is. Okay, so we want to type web browser one dot document text equals Krypton rich text box one dot text or text box one dot text if you're not using a Krypton. Um, but what this pretty much does is sets the HTML coding of the web browser to what's in the text box. So we're just going to go ahead and debug really fast. And um, once we go in the text box, we can actually edit some. We can actually insert some HTML code. And if you don't know HTML, that's no problem. You probably shouldn't be watching this video, but hey, who cares, right? We're just going to end the body. And then and the HTML. And then if we go to the web page, it should uh, have a happy face in the center of the screen. And it does. So as you can see here, we have uh, a nice happy face and uh, the HTML coding. And it refreshes automatically. See so if I type LOL and then go to the web page, the L's are there. All right, so thanks for watching this tutorial on how to make a basic HTML editor. Um, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to leave comments about what you think about the microphone. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye.